Hello, hello, hello. What's good, everybody? It is Thursday night, and we're ready to get back into Echo Episode 3. And you already know we're going down with two of the best in the business. We're going down with the one, the only, Chaffa AK. What's happening tonight? I'm here, man. I'm here. A bit low energy because I'm a little sickly and out of the weather, but that's all right. This episode was uh, kind of awesome. I love the culture I'm seeing, so let's get into this. Absolutely. See if we can't pick it up. Talking about all things Echo, and you already know the other man coming down this road with us, the one, the only, Fandom D Saint. What's good tonight, brother? Yo, Fandom D Saint here, and I did not hit the snooze button on this episode. <laughs> episode two, I was like, what the hell is going on here? And then boom, <laughs> episode three comes around, and just how we all reacted to like the final scene, that's how it was throughout the damn mm-hmm. episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Facts. 100%. They brought it back. We're going to talk about it. Echo, episode three, Tuklo. And I like the old school black and white vibe they started off with. Kind of set yes. the yesteryear. Like, and then showing the father training his daughter and what I guess was self-defense. Because if he wasn't going to let her join, then why train her in the first place, Phantom? Yeah, that's how I saw it. Self-defense. Mm-hmm. So it's like, then well, he was mm-hmm. like, oh, no, you're not meant for it. You're supposed to be, you know, uh, a giver. Not a taker. I'm like, so man, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, like, I, I was with Paul Paul up until he started talking and he said that. I'm like, oh, see, like, you know what? Whatever else is gonna happen with this flashback, I said, okay, girl, I got your back. Whatever it is, because pops is on some other other bullshit right now. Yeah, how would you feel about that? Like knowing you're better than all the other guys you see out there, but all of a sudden, just because you're a woman, you're not allowed to go roll I out. I gotta sit protect. down. I got yeah. titty kind of a JJ word. Yeah. What's that about? Because a- a- after they kill y'all, where do you think they come in next? Mm-hmm. After they die, I still got to be here with the kids. So I'm supposed to just let them take both of us? Yeah. And it's weird because they have women leaders like in their culture. So it's like, oh, exactly. allow exactly. her to join the group. Their people literally started with a woman. Yeah. What? <laughs> exactly. Absolutely. I mean, just be better. And I mean, it was a woman who was the star of the game back in the day. It's like you guys were working mm-hmm. together back then. So why can't you work together now? Like that just mm-hmm. that heading in the wrong direction. I don't know. And although like he may not have had a choice, like she was obviously a savant. And, like it almost looked more like he was in awe than proud when she was doing what she was doing so well. It's like, she was gifted as fuck. Yeah. It's almost like he gave her like, do you know what to do with this? And he didn't even have to show her. He just then she just said, Whoa, let it first go. time smack that up there. I said, okay, no, that is a freaking prodigy right there. You do not cap her in any way, shape, or form. And that's why I love when she came through, they were in a pinch. My girl came up, no, not trying to hide behind nobody's tree, no rock wall. She just stood right on top. Bang, bang, wide open space. Anybody could have got her if they would have looked, but nah, she was too fast for him. Yeah. I mean, if nothing else, he kn- the dad knew that his daughter would always be able to protect herself out in the wild frontier. Mm-hmm. But it was just like you're saying, like, you wouldn't have been in that predicament in the first place if you'd have let her be a part of the crew. If you would have taken her with you. Facts. Because, I mean, of course, the light horsemen get called into action only to fall into that trap. And they had to be saved by the one and they wouldn't let join the first trap. Like, is it just me or was that shit just obvious as hell to okay. anybody looking? Yeah. Like, come and- on, sir. So again, it had to be a it was a uh, woman who had the gift. So what's up, Phantom? Is it just the women in the bloodline that can receive this power? Yes, sir. He said it has to be at this point. Like I haven't seen not one guy with this power, mm-hmm. but she was able to sense trouble, and that also seems to be like pow- part of the power set. Like, was it because it was her father that had been shot that she was able to sense trouble, or was it just the trouble itself that she sensed? Do you think, AK? I think it was just the trouble itself. I think I think uh, it, it it the way it's set up, it seems like it could have just been because her dad was in trouble. But no, that would have been become a bigger issue if they would have gotten past her dad. It would have been like all of her people immediately in danger if they get past those light horsemen. So no, nah, she she felt that she felt the disturbance in the force, and she and she reacted and she yeah she handled that shit. Yeah, the way I think about it was like she knew her father went on a mission. And once you hear that mm-hmm. disturbance in the force, she's like, oh, let me go help mm-hmm. him out. Yep. Yep. That's what yep. And, so, and he was the first cheerleader. As soon as she she as soon as she came up and he noticed what happened, he was like, oh shit, okay, we're gonna be all right, boys. Hold on, two more minutes. Baby girl got it. Too close in the house. We're gonna be all right. <laughs> 
oh, now that we see who the vision of the woman shooter is, like, what other of those visions are we gonna are like we gonna see and gonna reveal their story? Like, are we gonna see like who that red marked woman is in the beginning and like what her is she like how the powers originated or I don't know. You think that's, we're gonna get yeah, more that's Chaffa. That's Chaffa. The one the you think the red woman's the, Chaffa? The one yeah that comes out with uh, with the whole um the like it looks like there like there's that brown mud that's caked all over her. Yeah, that's Chaffa. That's because I was thought pull, pull up a side by side of of her. that that picture with her with her coming out of the mud, and then put um the full frontal Julia Jones in in the full Chaffa makeup side by side. That those are the same people. Because I thought like the first woman who got those powers, and then the first, and then Chaffa who she said follow me once they were out. They look like two different people to me. So yeah, I'll have to look mm, at that. Same up. person. I mean, in her human form, yeah, but like when the whole makeup. Well, well yeah, we'll say that. We'll say that, yeah. But actually, I, I have. I'll go, go ahead. I'll, I'll um pull up a screen share in a sec because I got her picture up right now. Yeah, that look crazy. But I like the continuity of like the opening beginning with the black and white, and then the actual show opening through black and white mm -hmm. through the lens of that security camera. That was that was nice. Contest of a uh, Loki. That one episode. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Keep it up. I, oh, I like that continuity when they keep it straight. And my mm -hmm. man Scully is just a character. Like Chula came in and he was just putting those hips to work. <laughs> like my man was getting it. Like why would Chula ever leave a man that's got moves like that, AK? I mean, I, I think he said it best later on in the episode. She was heartbroken and she wanted to just put herself in a cave away from everyone. Now, and we talked about this last episode, I, I don't agree with that approach on how she handled that. And I think to look at the two of them in this scene now, even with how standoffish she was trying to be, you could very clearly tell they are still very much in love with each other. She's just holding herself back. And he is out there, no holes bar, like girl. You remember, you remember you used to love that shit, right? <laughs> and I love it. I love, I love seeing it again. I'm telling you, this is your long lost ancestor right here in the comic world. Okay, you oh, jump into the multiverse. This is the freaking people you go into right here. Coley is the man. There's no doubt about it. Man, <laughs> I'll take him on my team every time because my nice. man's got the skills. So what's up, Phantom? We agree with that. I mean, that's what we think like caused him to break up was just her being heartbroken over her daughter dying. Like, is that pretty what pretty much ever since her daughter died, it pretty much shattered her world. She just pretty much just distanced herself from everyone. Okay. Even the place, like he said to herself, like when we touch on it later in the episode, like she even bothered to like live there. It was like a tomb to her. Yeah, I, st I still can't believe it's been decades and Chula never once tried to reach out to Maya. Like, what kind of grandmother just holds that kind of grudge against a granddaughter that never did anything do you wrong? Hold any child in that position? Oh, she's too much like our father. Yeah. Bitch, you haven't seen her since she was six. She's too How much like your father. Do you know? That's who off with. How who maybe else like maybe if grandmama was still coming to get her and taking her to the reservation for summertime vacation and maybe every other Christmas or Thanksgiving break, maybe she wouldn't be so much like her daddy. But yeah. you literally left her out there on an island. And also I got beef with Henry on that too, Uncle Henry. Okay. The girl was not all right. You literally left her out there by herself. Well, Henry didn't have anything. Henry was probably fighting. That's probably one of the big reasons why they split up. Because Henry was probably like, dude, you got a granddaughter. You need to go check on her. And Chula was just being too hard-headed. No, I, I, no, no. Cause remember, the Lopez boys, she didn't like either one of them. They were both in the game with Kingpin. Right. I think, like I think Maya's dad was just closer to it because he was actually in New York. But yeah, it's yeah. It, either way, I think they both have done a disservice to this young girl, and now she's come home because there, there's extracurricular beef going on, and y'all treating her like she's just garbage and doesn't know what she's doing with her life. Like, what what the fuck's wrong with y'all? This is y'all's fault. This isn't on her. Well, Henry probably stayed away because he knew Kingpin was latching onto her. We can talk about that, but yeah. Oh, I Mm, okay yeah you're right you're right on that part you're right i see you on that well, that's just too much it's like go talk to her like i don't know that's just too much yeah. and on top of it like with i can't talk to her i got nothing to say you haven't seen your grandbaby in 20 years and you got nothing to say got one what? sentence not, not hey i missed you look at how big you've grown nothing. i got nothing what? to say 
decades and I got nothing to say. I like, oh, like, you smile just like your mama. Look at the cheekbones, just like like you don't have nothing to say nothing. to this young woman. Not nothing, Are you not serious? Not. I'm not a fan of Chula. I do not like this character so far. She is, I don't know. I'm like, what kind of grandmother is like this? Like, come on. I'm just, see, the, the only leeway I can give her is I do know grandmamas that were like her, that they had to have their little come to Jesus moment too. So I understand, but still, nah, I'm holding you accountable, Chula. Yeah, it's not cool. And even then, Scully got it right. Like, maybe you don't need to say anything. Maybe for mm -hmm. one, get up and listen. You know what I mean? That just part. Listen. Like uh, That part. Oh, he's in there. My guy. So the rat that turned my in gets the call telling him to secure and have her ready when he gets there. And while out walking around the pond, Maya gets a vision and her grandmother gets visions and or like warnings as like, well, which is why I think, I don't know. Do we, did you guys think that you don't think Chula has powers? Didn't you say that last? Because I kind of think she does. I think the power was with her mom. Not Chula. Chula well, Ch Chula's daughter. Maya's mom, but Chula's daughter. I think she's the linchpin there. Maybe. I think, she, I think oh. she's going to end up being the linchpin because, you know, moms can sometimes have the same magical attributes as their kids when they're in the womb. Like, um, I, I don't know if y'all ever watched Charmed, but Baby Wyatt, when he was, before he was born, still in Piper's belly. Oh, she yeah. She had all of, going, like, the, the upscale, invulnerable... Um, like, like you could not tell, you could not fuck with Piper when she was pregnant with Wyatt because I he was not letting that shit happen. On all these crazy ass mystical. Like, <laughs> yeah, we're nerds and shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is amazing. Like, oh, just for it. That is amazing. But that, see, that that's why I'm saying I don't. I think Ch Chula, obviously, again, she's a woman. She's in the bloodline. She had the potential for it, but she never went through anything that needed that extra umph like her moxie was enough on its own for her daughter though and whatever they might have to go through i think she had the power and i think it's definitely going to kick in with maya like it's already kind of kicking in i think maya just doesn't see all of the connections just yet what about you fandom do you think chula has powers or is no or just the mom had it how do you feel about all that well, let's see by the list of the episodes no. You don't think she does? No, because none of the episodes have her name on it, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. Wait, what's Scully. her mom's name? I don't. I have no idea what the mom's name is, but I know yeah, Scully's I, I always I'm... talking about... Chula's always talking about the ancestors and getting signs from the ancestors. We already saw their little mockingbird uh -huh. like showed her and showed up to Chula... Chula. Oh, yo, 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 yeah, you're right, you're right. I forgot about the oh. damn bird. And actually, matter of fact, that you say that the the picture that I'm about to put up for that side by side that bird is on Chapa's shoulder. Yeah, I think it's like right after she drank the yep. water it appears. No, I'm not saying yeah Chapa, but I'm saying Chula gets that bird too. So the yeah, Chula, oh, yeah, Chula yeah, sees yeah. the bird. Oh. Yeah. So the so fact I, so, okay, so maybe she doesn't have the powers at all, but she knows the signs to look for. If that makes sense. I don't know. I think the fact that the bird shows up and lets her know that shit's about to happen because that's when the omens come. It's like an omen letting you know something's going to happen. If it's mm -hmm, showing up mm -hmm. to her, I think she has the powers. But like they said, the, ancestor, the ancestors are fickle. It's not like you can just yeah, call they, them. They, they work in mysterious ways, man. They show up when they feel like they need to show up. It, pretty much. <laughs> they really do. So yeah, it's not you can't summon it. But if she ever needed it and she was in a pinch, I have a feeling she would be stopping bullets or doing something weird. Like she can I think it just hones awesome. you in. Like, that's what it does. It makes you super strong. It makes you super focused. Like, it hones you in. And that's what one of these words are, too. Like, so I think that's, or Tukla. I think that's what Tukla is. I mean, that, or maybe her mother, a great grandmother, had the ability and they just pass the information down. Like, oh, I had an easier yeah, time. Yeah, I think stole, it's, yeah, I think so. it's a little more like that. Yeah. Really? I don't know. I hope we find out. Cause yeah, I just, I feel like it's in the bloodline and I, I just feel like all the women have. I just think she, I think she's got it. Because she probably told Scully, and maybe that's why Scully told Maya when she saw the statue about it. It's like, oh, if you know, you can oh, yeah, talk definitely. to your grandmother. So. Yeah, because he said, yeah, your grandma knows all this shit. Like, you should go talk to her yeah, you do. and let and her know what's going need, down. They need to talk about it because they got some mm -hmm. stuff to figure out. You got some superpowers. You need to hone that in. Facts. That is insane. 
But Maya, not yet understanding her powers, doesn't get the warning and she gets captured before the vision ends and wakes up hanging mm-hmm. upside down in the skating rink. Like she gets herself down easy enough, but her captors are right there to instantly tie her back up and put her in the storeroom. I was like, but that was nice of that lady to bring Maya's instructor gadget shoe back in to aid in her escape. I was like, oh, just Bruh, bring her how, into the how were either one of those two chicks ever a part of the game at all? Well, look who was. And I know with. Henry vouches for for Vicky, but bro, you shouldn't have had that dude doing anything but cleaning those skates. Yeah. Whatever other stuff you had him doing, he had no business doing. Because I feel like just a hope and a prayer was with him every time, and that's why shit didn't get fucked up. Yeah, Vicky was a moron. So Vicky that's was why, an yeah, idiot. That's why any people that are following him are going to be even bigger morons. And oh, Grace, I think I think it sounded like Grace uh, was his sister. So the mouthy one, I think, was a Is sister. that what it was? Yeah. Uh, so maybe. Yeah. I think mm. that's how that hooked up. And then I don't know who the other lady was. But yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. But how do you think Maya felt like when she looked over and saw her uncle tied and gagged as well in his own skating rink? Like, he told you you were going to bring this out here and look at it. Now what did you do? I mean, look, girl has shit to do, okay? He didn't want to help her. He, she did ask for help. He said no. And he knew who she was, okay? He knew the child that his brother had had birthed, all right? She wasn't going to be told no and then just go back down. No, nah, that's just not how the Lopez's work. That's messed up. It's like, don't bring your war here, and here you go bringing your war here. That's messed up. Like, now look at me. Now, and, I'm, now I'm tied up in my own spot. Like now how He was you- already in the war. He knew that shit was, was going to be coming back to him full front anyways in my opinion yeah, he got tied up because she showed up there and his boy called in called it in and he's told him was like you should have called it in now i'm gonna take it so it's like Any, it's anything could have fucked up to bring that back to him though and then i think that's why he said what he said at the end yeah like, i mean, yeah, the shit caught up with both of us right yeah i mean when you're in that game sooner or later something's gonna come mm-hmm. like, something but why would bonnie head to the skating rink and not just straight out to chula's to see maya like that was kind of weird and again, learning the and knowing the ASL coming in extremely handy. Like, or it would have been if Bonnie would have actually left and gotten to safety before trying to call the Bro, help. Like, come well, on. Was I the only one yelling at the screen for that portion as soon as she got out? Bitch, don't get on the radio. Get in the fucking uh, car oh and drive God. and then get on the damn radio. What are you yeah. doing? This is why you were not tagged in for the Black Op mission, Bonnie. They both knew you couldn't handle this nonsense. You ain't even supposed to be here right now. Go home. That was so was like, like this man you secret you listen. told you in the secret ASL, hey, get the fuck out of Dodge. Let me handle this shit. And your ass makes it outside. Back to your truck and you don't get in that motherfucker and immediately go get away. Safety. You want to call the cops. How'd you Why feel? Is Bo- like Bonnie that? is the only one here trying to call the damn cops. I felt the same way. One, well, I'm so upset that he got jumped in his own place by the guy who pra- he only cleans his his damn skates. By the fucking skate cleaner. And he has to man the front desk when Henry is DJ. Mm. I want to know why Henry liked him so much. Henry seemed to be protecting him. He said, you know, he 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 stand up in my book for what? What could he possibly have done? Well, he said he's worked for him for a long time, so he thought he was loyal. Just cleaning them skates? Yeah, he was messed up. Well, he wasn't just cleaning skates. He's obviously been running missions for him for a long time. Like, That's what I'm saying. I want to know what kind of missions because the shit ain't adding up right here. Yeah, I don't, yeah, he was just yeah, he was supposed to be his right hand guy and the guy he had to go do work, and now all of a sudden Terrible. this guy's like, I'm not taking orders from you anymore. And that was just it. He's like, <laughs> I'm not taking orders. From you, you still taking orders now. You don't even know, you know what I mean? Better Son. than I'm, you know, like what are you doing? That guy's a moron. And now nobody is gonna be here to protect you. Mm-hmm. So when when things mess up the other way around, Henry ain't gonna be there no more because you put Henry on the chopping block. What right. do you think is gonna happen to you when shit fucks up? Oh, these people just don't know, they just it don't is. know. Like Bonnie, when your gangster capo uncle tells you to go, you go. You go. You don't just go outside. No, bitch, you get off the property. He just saved your life. Get gone. Like, nope, of course she gets I don't herself. Understand. Oh. You know a whole half of your family is gangsters, and you still trying to sit here talking about, I know we need to wait for the cops. Oh, God. 
course, she just gets herself <laughs> captured. And at least she finally got to come face to face with Maya. But come on, Bonnie. Yeah. Oh, man. I expected better. And then Maya easily got them untied and immediately started looking for a way out. I was like, why were you even still tied up if it was that easy? Like, that was kind of crazy. And Bonnie's all ready to talk and want some answers, but I was with Maya on this one. I'm like, baby, can I get us out of here? Do that right now. First, you know what I mean? Before we take a little walk down memory lane. <laughs> can we make right sure now. the clubhouse is secure? Yeah. Again, first, yo, cops, what the fuck you mean, cops? Do you not know who those people were back then? Ma'am. I was Don't just like, can we get to safety first, please? And then we'll have this little talk <laughs> and walk. Like, come on. Like, like Bonnie, Bonnie I heart you. You have a wonderful, beautiful smile. But come on, man. Come on. Yeah. Now I now I see why Echo didn't go to her first. She, she's, mm-hmm. she's not ready. Mm-hmm. And Henry tries to give Vicky one last chance to make things right. But <laughs> Vicky just wants that money. Like, Henry knows better. He said, yo. You can still get out of this alive. Mm-hmm. He knew but Vicky, you, but, but now you don't want to do that. Okay, and and what happened? Yeah. My dude didn't even make it to the end of the episode. Oh, some people just never will get it. <laughs> and then Maya makes a noise, looking for tools to escape, and the captors hear her and come in. And instead of taking three out, which it looks like she could have done pretty easily, like yeah. after what we see in these later scenes, I feel like just- that was in the plan. That was crazy. And then she just ends up punching Bonnie in the face and letting them take her. Like she had to make it look good. She had to make it look good. That no, that was like I said, that was part of the plan. I didn't know exactly what the plan was right then and there, but I knew she she had to get some stuff done. (laughs) I have seen you in action. Just take these three morons out and walk out of here before the other guys show up. Like, what is this? I know there's gotta be a show, but come on. So then Zane does show up, and you could just tell right off the rip, like Vicky was never gonna see that money. Like Not Vicky ever. was rapidly yeah. figuring it out as well, too. Like, how long did it take you to figure out that he was never gonna get paid, Phantom? Or did you just already know? I knew the moment he was on the phone the mm-hmm. previous episode and got the mm-hmm. setting out the text. L the um bounty. Like, that part. Well, you just signing your own death warrant right then and there. And it was official the moment thought. we saw who was gonna pick up that um uh, who was like coming. And I was like, oh, wait, exactly. in the previous episode, the um, shimmy got <laughs> exploded. Definitely no. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He was there for blood. That's it. Right? <laughs> so Maya went MacGyver and rigged up a pretty sweet little laser stake gun. Like, and then she texts Vicky and Gra- uh, texts Vicky and Grace the picture of their accomplice being all tied up. So these geniuses <laughs> like, try to leave together. Just get a call and both try to run out. Like, what? Are you You're just morons. Like, I'm Zane not the only one that left. Oh my god. Am I the only one that laughed so hard at that though? She said that with a smiley face from Maya. <laughs> that was awesome. Zane just knew something was up and he was never gonna pay anyway, so he just ends Vicky right there. And again, Disney mm-hmm. bringing the shock value, like, oh my god. With the, I told you. With the blood running out of his eyes like that. I was like, Disney, Disney know where they money children. coming from. You are giving children nightmares with this one. Like no, 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 they're not. The table. No, they're not. That is why they have that new clause of the TVMA. If you don't have that on, you can't even watch Echo. But if you have it on, then you know what you're getting into because you manually have to do that. Right. And, and now you and your kids are going to see the blood. And how many kids know how to get around that after the uh, parents try? Does to it matter? That's it, that that that's not that's not on the corporation. That's Disney, on the parents and the you- house. Making sure that they shit is not hackable by their kids. Disney is giving kids nightmares. That was so ruthless. Look at I don't know. How do you feel about that fandom? Because that was gnarly. Yeah, I can see worse. Oh, my it, exactly. It could be no other way for Echo and any person that's on that street level of superhero in Marvel. He got shot in the back, and then blood mm-hmm. starts coming out his mouth and eyes, mm-hmm. and his oh, nose flowing into his eyes. Yep. Oh, when he lay, his eyes look. And he perfect. looks right dead in the camera. Oh my! Right God. at Henry, and Henry's looking at him like, "Bro, I tried to tell you." That shit scared me. I'm like, "What is this doing <laughs> to children? I'm like, what the <laughs> hell? I mean, Disney is on a whole nother level these days. My goodness! Trying to tell y'all that for the whole last year, man." Oh. Gosh, Disney, yeah, they just never cease to amaze at this point. Yep, mm-hmm. and like you said, Henry just looked at him like, I told you. <laughs> I, I told you, yep. Like, this is, you had no other way ending up, but right there. He and then thought right he was ready two, for the show. They asked, where's Maya? Lights out, music cranked, it's go time. And Maya was doing it, but 
I know it's a show and there needs to be drama, but the way it was going, like if Maya would have just picked up a few more guns from the one she'd already taken out, this would have been over. Like she yeah. Go out and been on it. It would have, but it would not have been up to the quality that it needs to be for how this show needs to hit. And also, I, I just feel like it, it was just spot on. And I love that they took that like two seconds to pan the camera back over to Henry because Henry was looking at her like, bitch, like, okay, I knew you could fight, but what the fuck is this that is going on? You just took out like five dudes and it's still four more and you over here smiling while you're laughing. You remember what I t- told you at the beginning of the season? Do not get in fights with anyone that smiles or laughs while they're fighting, okay? Maya is a psychopath. All right, you don't mess with those people. Yeah, anybody, anybody that starts giggling, but I don't know. How, how'd you feel mm-hmm. about that fight scene, Phantom? I loved it. There's like hell of a fight scene, episode one. However, oh my gosh, I know the uncle is pissed off by all these damn damages. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, no, that is what insurance is for. Nope, I guarantee you he got insurance on that. He'd be all right. Uh, but instead of like grabbing a few more guns and taking them all out, she gets herself captured and almost killed. But I did like how she grabbed those um, game guns. I was like, what are you going to do with those plastic little things? Dude, she uh, said hello problem. to my ancestor that, that was a lot, that, that was on the range. Dude, mm-hmm. She was nice with that whip action. She was like, oh, Hella oh, nice, boy. Dude. Oh, my God. But she did not stop. Tell me she did not stop midway and smile at her uncle. Like that's what I'm saying. You do not fuck motherfuckers that smile or laugh when they fight me. Uh, I was like, you nah, better win. Something is wrong with her. No, Yo, you're gonna stop and <laughs> smile. I was like, you better win after that kind of bullshit. Because hey, Henry was looking at her like, bitch, what the fuck? As soon as what? she saw Zane had Bonnie, it was game over. Like that was that. She just stopped everything, and now mm-hmm. she's. Now your life's that's over. where her like, heart is. Right now. Yeah. Like, now y'all gonna die. That was just crazy. They were on their knees and just about to meet their maker when Zane got a phone call. And when he can't get any words out and it just leaves them all and just walks away, we already mm-hmm. know there is only one person. There's only one dude. That. Only we one like, dude. Fisk is back and now everybody yeah. knows. Like, oh. You don't send the capos out and then they just get a phone call from just anybody to pull back. That don't happen. Oh, the second he couldn't get a word in, he's like, I just mm-hmm. thought, he's like, can oh, I just uh, okay, like, uh, like that roll out. Defensive. You're like, this is back. <laughs> Watch out. He didn't even take time to take the handcuffs off. He was just like, nah, boss said leave. We out. We out. Wheels mm-hmm. up. And again, Bonnie, not listening, is being told to go. Like, we'll talk later. And she just wants to sit around and argue. Like, will this girl never learn? Like, I'll just feel like it's going to end badly for her. And it's going to end up pretty much being her fault. Like, (laughs) you, if you don't listen one of these times, you are going to get got. Like, I'm trying to save your life here. Maybe. maybe, I mean, I I know you you got the gene. You got the potential for the gene, too, Bonnie. But you you ain't in no extracurricular shit to where it needs to kick in for you. So I need you to not. That would be kind of crazy, though, if we find out Bonnie's got it, too, after all this. All of a sudden, they're like Wonder Twin Powers and activated. You know what's 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 crazy about that? Now that you say it, look at my my, uh, picture here. Maya is very clearly one of those women. But the one down front, we've seen Maya with her hair down. That don't look like Maya. Oh, it's gonna find, it's gonna end up being Bonnie in the house taking. I it don't. Off. I don't know. I wouldn't be mad at it if it happened though. Bonnie. That would be cool. Oh, you heard of your first. It's gonna happen. Basically, Bonnie. <laughs> Bonnie, Bonnie's gonna have powers too. They're gonna be like Bonnie comes powers. in clutch in the last episode. You know, she's gonna be like, "I got it too, Cuz. Let's get it." Ka-ka! <laughs> it's like we're family. That's gonna be so Did sweet. I, yeah, yeah. Someone got to record this later on. <laughs> Time oh, somebody on. has already <laughs> clipped this live right now. <laughs> oh, man. Well, if nothing else, Maya got her uncle to finally say that he's with her. And also mm-hmm. with her is the spirit of her ancestors because mm-hmm. Scully came through with some new hardware for the leg carrying some meaning. Like, who needs a cape? Like, that leg piece was... Bro, yo, oh. as soon as I put eyes on that thing, I was like, okay, I, I see symbols. I can't see it too clear yet, but he would not have put that on there if it didn't mean something. Oh, it was clean. That thing looked like and it that was, shit was out of so cool. Ooh. Right, yeah. Yeah, exactly. You're right. You're right. That looked like it came straight from the forges of Themyscira. And then when he explained what it meant, I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh. Of course, Maya gonna be an asshole talking about. Well, you know, I could just, I just put my leg, my my jeans over. It's cool. Yeah, I just wear jeans. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at her. He didn't even pay her no mind. He laughed anyway because he was like, "I know you ain't gonna do that bullshit. Uh, you ain't disrespectful on that level." That was amazing. Yeah, that was tight. But yeah, it looked good. And then on the bike, like just the placement where it is on the bike, like it just it looks, looks so, so clean. crispy, way cooler than any cape so or mask. Crispy, or anything man. Like yeah, that. I love it. That was tight. So is Maya's word just dog shit though? Like she said, just one more thing to Miskits. You know, that's a lie. She told Bonnie she'd keep her safe. That was a lie. Promised Bonnie she'd come talk to her. That's a lie. Like she just rolled out on her bike, leaving poor Bonnie sitting there by herself, lonely as ever at the bar. She was like, about to roll out. That is messed up. That is like, come on, man. I don't know. I don't... Okay. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Can, can y'all still see my screen? I see your screen, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we see the echo oh. uh, post that you have up. Okay. Oh, I got an error coming up on my thing. You sound fine, look fine, got everything the same. All right. I wonder cool, if, I cool. change, All right. if I change the thing if it'll do anything. Wait, it may be well, it may be because I was trying to do a screen share. All right, let me let me try something else on that. Go ahead, continue, DJ. But speaking of biscuits, my man was feeling that song in church, just swaying <laughs> back and forth, letting the vibes roll through, like not like Chula just sitting there, not even singing. Like, what the hell? Is that just because mm -hmm. she was thinking about Maya? Is she finally going to go talk to her next episode, Phantom? Oh, yeah. Episode four coming up. We only got two left, right? Episode four. Yep. Four and five coming up. Knowing tonight. how this is, probably at the end of uh, episode four. So finally, you think it'll and take that? Five, we're actually going to have the conversation in the beginning. I'm... Just like how we have it with this. Probably the same way. I'm a tag team on that. I'm going to say episode four, too. I think it'll be early on. Episode four or maybe episode five, actually. It could even go that far. I think in the first five minutes, those two are going to have to meet up and talk. For, something's going to happen because we already see what's... You know, we're about to talk about it, what happened at the end. <laughs> yeah. Maya heads back to her grams, and I instantly thought, like, isn't that the first place he would come looking for you? Like, and sure enough, she turns around, and there he is, the big and man. And there he is. Like, so was Maya just having a vision, or is he really there, AK? Okay. Oh no, I think he's definitely really there. That was really him and he's really there. Yeah, cuz we we've been getting hints for a little bit now that he is that he's going to be coming back on onto the set. But last time we saw him he was still laid up on a ventilator in a bed. And that that was the last time. I mean, that was then, this is now. Okay? Kingpin has proven to be a lot more resilient than than uh people have known him to be before. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think he's absolutely con that's he is right there in the flesh. This has been like five months from the shot, so mm -hmm. you'll know, like, at what point when we saw him, like, at the after credit scene in episode one, his condition. Yeah, very true. Very true. All right, um, DJ, uh, I don't want a chance trying to do the screen share thing, but if you could, like, put that up just like like um make me uh big and then you could see closer the comparison yeah that 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 is chaffa on the left as well as on the right Good. like you should have the option to um but to 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 make my screen on the three dots i think full blast just so you could see it clearer than it is there looking a bit small but like yeah oops sorry move the screen over look same nose structure same jawline same lips Are those the same that is julia now? jones that yeah that is that both of those pictures that's chaffa that I is julia like jones eyebrows and eyes are different but yeah maybe i don't know yeah because it got the same cleft right there i don't know i mm -hmm. guess it's the clay for me yeah, the clay. I think yeah, the the only yeah, the only difference is the clay and the drawings that are on the clay, but also same tattoo ac across her jaw and chin. But that's just part of their thing. Like even that one chick had the red all the way across. That was kind of what they all had. Yeah, but she didn't have the design like that. She had the red across her eyes. Right. Yeah, right on. I know it's just, they're the same person. It's just I think it's like yeah. Awesome. For me, I still don't see like the same. It's just for me, it's like I think it's yeah. Well, yeah, it, it's, it's, it's definitely because of the clay yeah. and how that's showing up. Absolutely. Mm 
think like new beginning, new new phase. Yeah. So what's gonna happen? What what's gonna go on? Uh, what are, how are they gonna start this next episode? You haven't seen the next one, have you, Phantom? Nah, I've been waiting. Oh, and waiting. Yeah, I, I'm I'm waiting until uh, right when we're done with this discussion. Uh, so what's <laughs> gonna happen? What's it. gonna happen with this uh, Fisk meeting? Are they gonna fight? Are they gonna come at it? Or they? I mean, what's gonna happen? Um, I if think you... there's going to be animosity. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, you can go first. Um, I I think there's gonna be some animosity, definitely from Maya's side. I think whatever value Fisk was putting on her more so than her dad because I think that's why he took her dad out because he saw whatever his plan his long game plan is he saw Maya being the better candidate to be the muscle than that so that's why he took him out because I think he knew Maya wouldn't step up with her dad still being there so he's gonna try to get her back at whether he's gonna be able to do that I actually no no I I don't think he will I don't think he will I think she may be able to possibly trick him into thinking that she will and then maybe taking him out because of that ruse or something else but it, it, it's it's not going to be like a super physical fight between them at least not next episode I don't think how you feel about that Phantom what's gonna happen well. She can end up charging towards him, try to get like some type of like a punch in or whatever. But that obviously ain't gonna work. It's Fisk. Mm-hmm. But he's gonna forgive her because that's pretty much like a daughter to him. Yeah, so you do yeah. think so. You do think it's true love, and that he does think of her as a true daughter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But one more chance, though. Does she gonna do it? Oh yeah, yeah, right, like, yeah. I, yeah, okay. I if he can't know. get her back here, I think that's gonna be it. Then he'll he'll mark her as an enemy. So have you switched over, AK? Because you were like, you thought it was more just for the business aspect of it last time. You think you switched over like more it is, he uh, thinks over more of a daughter. I think it's both. Right I think it's both. both. I think he I think he does genuinely care for her. I mean, he th- this kid's been with him since she, w- she was a child, since she was a baby, six. You know, that, that was uh, Uncle Fisk. I forget what the hell his first name is. But yeah, that, that was Wilson? Uncle to her. Wilson, yes, w, that's right. Yeah. Uncle Wilson. So, yeah, so he definitely cares for her, but he is also looking at her as an asset because that's exactly what her dad was to him. So, I, yeah, it's it's twofold. I think we're going to find out, well, like I said, one, I think I may have called it early and that that might actually be his daughter. I think that maybe the, he literally might be the dad and they are, he says, family. So that would be the sickest call ever. But I Ew, also I, I hope to God that's wrong. That would be amazing. <laughs> and if not, I also think that one way or another, he wanted he probably was the one who wanted to kill the dad in the first place. So he went to he had somebody try to kill the dad. They messed up, cut the wires, it ended up killing the mom and almost killing Maya, and that almost broke oh. his heart. Because Fisk either wanted the mom because he was in love with her or there because that he's the real dad and he couldn't believe he almost killed his daughter, Maya. And or either way, that's why he's been such a father figure to Maya because he feels bad. He was the one that wanted to kill the dad and it ended up being Maya and the mom that got hurt. He's always felt bad about it. Dang. I will. I, I, I like aspects of that. I, li- I like aspects of that a lot. I will give you that. He felt bad that it was the mom that died. The brakes were cut because he was trying to get to the dad. But I don't think it had anything to do with romance. I think it has all been just about Maya, whether he saw what he thought, you know, he could mold her into at that age or not. I, I don't I don't think there that he wanted to get to mama. This guy's so got bad about it. And I don't city. think that's he's in did you see him in daredevil he's just an intense person like that when he gets in his feels about something that's just what happens he he grabs it and holds it un, until he crushes it sometimes that like that, that i don't know that, that, this this is this isn't just him wanting to be you know around his daughter more he could have done that easily without killing anyone yeah. 
I don't know. I just he has an entire city at his fingertips. He could have had he could have literally had anybody, and he for some reason no, he couldn't. No, there's some child, and he can't get to everybody because he remember remember when with that that first mission he sent my on he he was impressed because he couldn't get to that one devil of hell's kitchen. I'm saying like he could have had any girl molded any girl from a you know a tiny baby up like he could have done anything and he picked this little crippled child. So I mean that's just there's something about that and I don't know why out of all the people he could have had why her. Like there has to be a reason. Maybe he maybe she reminded him of himself cuz he he's definitely on the spectrum if you didn't catch that especially from how he deals with his um problems. So may, I think maybe that's the connection. He knows he's dealing with the handicap, and so is she. Maybe. That's no, it's interesting to think about, though. I, I, I do like how some of your tinfoil works there in that scenario. How does uh, what is, what are Fist's power? Why does he have such superhuman strength and durability? It's not superhuman. It's not superhuman. He literally he looks like he's fat, but that's all muscle. He literally is just a fist to cuss motherfucker like that. This man, like in the comics, he has fight. there are no extra powers or anything to him. He's just strong as shit. I mean, that's I like him. A street level villain. That's it. Yeah. Shot in the face, hit by cars, gotten blown up by arrows, and just people walks have been through it. skewered through their eye and been able to live even with the screwdriver going into their brain if it just happens to hit the right way and doesn't men. actually cut the brain <laughs> tissue. Yeah. It, it's not it's not impossible to do the shit that they've shown Fix doing. Mm -hmm. Just the fact, like it's been hit by a car and still just gets up and kicks the crap out That's of. I'm a little bit worried about MCU that they may not change Fisk and be like, "Oh wait, he's X, Y, and Z." I'm like, no. Oh, I no, no. He is just a dude that knows how to fight because his dad was a dick and pushed him to do some crazy shit as a child. Yeah. No, he's see. not super. I, and I hope they keep that. I, yeah, I think he really is just a strong dude like that. That's why he's still on the street level here because. This is this is the this is Thanos of the streets. Yeah, I guess because yeah, that's beyond strong. Like I said, this man has taken some lickings and kept on ticking. Well, he's he's fought Spider Man. Now, yeah. Remember remember that he's actually mm -hmm. a Spider Man villain. Yeah, so he's yeah he's sick with his. Oh, but all in all, what do we think of this one? This is pretty sick. What do we think of this episode, Phantom? Better than last week. He's like sitting up there with on the first episode. Mm. What's that? You like this one on the, the same as the first? Yeah. How about you, AK? Where you at with this one? Yeah, I think um, I will agree on that. I'm, I am not uh, discounting episode two. Uh, there are definitely some gems in there that were needed to, to add to the story. But yeah, I do put this up there with episode one. We got um, some more badass ancestors coming in and, and, and doing the thing and showing how these things are going. You know, the, oh, the way they're billing this, actually, now that I think about it, this is funny because it's another dc connection they're low-key making her shazam because she you, you you look at the warrior women that we've seen beforehand she there's different aspects of each of these women that she's taking in and using in these fights now ah. so and, and shazam it what does he have like the the speed of hermes the sh strength of hercules or some shit mm -hmm. shit like that it like goes down like all of his, the letters in his name mean something i think that's kind of what's going on here with maya like and that's... just like when i said last last episode we talked about it, i said i figured out that her, her code name is echo because her ancestors are all echoing through her and it's shown even more now in this episode now nah, she's avatar the last airbender <laughs> Avatar, I need I need more evidence of that. I see the thought pattern you're on. I will not discount it, but I need I will say for that one, I need more evidence. We just need to see an episode where she's talking with either the first or the previous ones, and I'm like, oh, there we go. I don't Maya, think she's gonna talk bender. with anybody. I don't think she's gonna talk with anybody, but well, well, I guess maybe not talk in traditional sense, like like, like all of us are here mm -hmm. talking right now. It's not going to be like that, but th there, there may be some something happened where, like, it the the spidey sense gets stronger, like they could affect 
Well, technically, her, it has like, happened. Like, now or something. But then those flashes, and she's seeing no, yeah, her yeah, ancestors. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, because it, like, it seemed like they were both trying to um tell her, like, hey, wake up, be aware, shit's about to happen. And then she gets got, like, right when old girl is about to actually speak and say mm. words, and, and that didn't happen. She got snatched up. <laughs> that's just it. Yeah, you gotta come out of those visions a little sooner, like <laughs> a little quicker, right? You gotta be a little quicker on the uptake. That's why. That's why it was quick draw McGraw that came out there here to try to tell her, "Hey, speed up! <laughs> you You're about to get it." Oh man, so yeah, I absolutely love this one. Really looking forward to the next one. Got just a mm -hmm. couple trivia questions. See if uh, what everybody remembers about this one. If you notes this time. Comments. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on, oh, sir. Let me find go. my document. If you're watching so the in the chat box. These questions. All right. If you're watching later, put them in the comment section down below. We ready to go? Yep. Oh, got lucky number seven of them. Question number one. What were the tribal police called back in the day? Start off easy. Uh, da, 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 ah, I want to say light foot. It's not light foot. Light horseman. There you go. The light horseman. Absolutely. Dude, I thought that was a really easy one. Oh, keeping it moving. What was the girl's name whose father wouldn't let join the light horseman? Uh, Tuklo. Tuklo, absolutely. The name of the episode, we already know. And how long had it been since Chula had seen Maya? Since she was six or seven. Or what, I think they said, well, did he say 20 years? There it is. 20 years. Yeah. Absolutely correct. Oh, AK just killing it. Ready for this. I told one. you I took notes this time, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Get tired of losing. Oh, <laughs> what was the skate employee's name that kidnapped Maya? I only got one of them damn girls' names, and you're making me read down like the whole list. I think it was uh, Grace was one of them, but I don't I don't remember the other ones. What was the skate employee's name that's kidnapped my ass? Oh, Vicky? There you go. It was Vicky. Vicky was the head of it. Grace was the sister, and I don't know if they ever told us that. Yeah, I, I don't think we found out the other girl's name. But that's funny. You knew Grace's name tight. That's good. What pinball machine did Maya get thrown into? Take a little bit of a deep dive. No, pinball that is not a fucking deep dive because I knew your ass was going to ask that. Wait a minute. <laughs> I remember writing that. Legends of the Coyote. Legends of the Coyote. She knows me uh -huh. all too well. Uh -huh. nice I, knew, I know, I know yeah. your patterns, sir. <laughs> oh, that is tight. Here we go. Uh, you might get this one too then. Let's see. Another deep dive. What was Zane's ringtone for Fisk? A New York Minute by Don Henley. Oh, she is too good. She's got me down pat. Oh, that was a good one. I thought you both appreciate that one. A New York Minute. Yes. And I did too. But you know, it, there's like five different versions of that damn song. Absolutely. But Don Henley's the most important, uh, the biggest one. Don Henley is my boy. You know, after the boys of summer have gone. All right. Let's see if we can get him one deep dive. Can we get him one time? When Maya stopped to look in a window, they had a different type of open sign. What did it say? When Maya stopped to look in the window. When she was rolling out. Bonnie was in there at the bar. She stopped to look in the window. They had a different kind of open sign. What did it say? I had to get one in there. I was like, they might get me. Got to get one. We got to stump them on no it. No way. You talking one. about the skating rink? Nope. Okay. Yeah. Maya was rolling out and she stopped and she looked into a window at the very end of the episode. And then she got back on her bike and rolled out. And it had a bunch of flyers on the window and it had an open yeah. sign. It was a different kind of open sign. Yeah, you know, was that that rest area or near the rest area? I think it was the bar that Bonnie was sitting in. I think she looked in, saw Bonnie sitting there, and then just was like, nope, I'm not going in there. And then just got on her bike and boned out. I thought she went back to where Bonnie and them were. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, I could just not be remembering that part. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's kind of sad. There is one that I thought for sure you would ask, and you didn't. Uh-oh, she's got one for us. You ready for this one, Phantom? Nope. <laughs> I, I, I honestly will not be surprised if Phantom doesn't know it, but I, I might be surprised if you didn't even catch it. Um, What is on... um? Pops his hat. Oh, wow. His shirt was like native way. 
The mm -hmm. or no, his shirt said the native, and I think underneath of the bottom, what we didn't see was way. Yeah, there was some kind of graphic on it, but I, yeah. I didn't look too hard. Oh, what the shirt said the native. Hat? What was his hat? That is a deep cut. I think that's pretty cool. I know it, I instantly called what was on his shirt. <laughs> but the hat. That All right, I, I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you an easier one that I I think uh, DJ you might remember. What did the symbol mean on uh, Maya's brace? Oh, war, uh, what did Pop prince? say the symbol means? It said she was representing her people. The warrior princess was there, or something. The warrior or the warrior was there. Uh, I'll give it to you because you said warrior. It means a Choctaw warrior is on the scene. Yeah, the warrior. But I'll give it. I'll, I'll give it to you. Yeah. I'll give it to you because remember the warrior specifically. Yep, so the warrior is there. Bada boom, bada bing, kind of there. Ah, oh, that's sick. I knew the shirt, but I cannot remember the hat. It has to be something native. I'll say Oklahoma. No, it's exactly not. It's actually really? not. It's it's well, well, may, I guess maybe technically it is because I, I don't know who the person is that owns the pawn shop. Uh, it says uh, Scully's Pawn Buy Sale Trade. Oh, there you go. Feel it? I didn't get that one. Do you? Yeah. No, she said it. You remember that? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Giant Chamber remember seeing that. That's awesome. Not oh, surprised man. at all. So that's going to do it for us. Absolutely love this one. And man, looking forward to the next one. And I can't believe they're going to wrap this all up in two episodes. Two so more. Where it goes. No, it's needed. It's needed. I don't want X amount of episodes. And next, you know, I got duplicate episode twos. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we don't need yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still think that we could have gotten some more info and still be exciting. And it's a backstory I don't know much about, so I could have taken a little more. But yeah, I'm with you. We don't need any more episodes. Yeah, there, there's a couple side quests that I wouldn't have minded, you know, getting some more info on. So as long as they bring it back and tie it up all tight and needy, I'm here for mm -hmm. it. So yeah, I am excited. We'll be back on Tuesday to talk about it. I hope everybody out there is having an absolutely fantastic week, and it only gets better from here. Till we see you on the next one. Be easy, everybody.